Oh, here we go. Akira stop. And the fucking flaming catapults. Monday STDs. <laughs> Monday STDs. That was the other one. Yeah, dude. I think the double garage room is. Is I think it's in that other tower. Okay, well I'm gonna go upgrade my broken butterfly cat so I can do I'll turn around if I get some cat. That Punisher doing work there, man. Oh, yeah. Actually, if you'll scoot over a little bit, we can sit oh, this yeah. in between us and enjoy the space while we got it. There we go. So, did you ever see the ending to Zero? Uh, wait, of Zero? Yeah, did no, you dude, I've never finished Zero. You should just check out a playthrough. Yeah, I was just gonna watch a walkthrough just of it. Watch the end of it. I I watched a walkthrough again of the remake just to kind of familiarize myself with it because I bought. Resident Evil 2 on the PlayStation Store. Because that's just one of my favorite games. The, uh... The storyline and the ending in, uh... In Zero is pretty... Like, when we're talking about the GameCube, it still, still had some more adult games. And that was exclusive GameCube. That was pretty... Intense for Nintendo. Which one? Zero? Zero, yeah, Zero's absolutely. Backstory? The leeches? Well, Billy's uh, see, backstory. I don't remember Billy's backstory. I remember, and like, he, he's a prisoner when you find him, because he's escaped, right? And they yeah, think just... that he even killed the cops that were guarding him, right? Yeah. But what's he originally... Well, I don't I don't want to... I, like, I don't care about the people out there. The people out there, I don't care if I pull it for you. <laughs> but I don't want to read it for you. you okay. Just check it out. Okay. Billy's I mean... backstory is really interesting. And when you let him go at the end, it's really interesting. And Zero so Zero is covering what Alpha Team did. Yes. Uh, right before what happened with number one. That's right. And so you're uh, Rebecca, right? Yeah, you're Rebecca. And you work with another team member, uh, this other person, Billy. And you have to leave your items in spots, which makes it yep. probably the second hardest to code Veronica. It's... it's it's painstakingly laborious at some points to see if I have enough money for. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and buy that broken butterfly capacity upgrade. Do it. Just in case, because I'm not doing that wrong. Yeah, Code Veronica is, I think, famously the hardest. Because you're, you were saying you can't beat that one monster, right, on the original version before they, before they fixed it. Which one? You're saying there's some hallway that you're running down, and you have to, like dodge this monster right before it gets to you but there's just so little time to actually get away that hardly anyone can actually do it. I said this? Yeah, you, you were telling me about this. When was this? Shit, not God only knows. Damn, I don't remember. What are you maybe? I don't remember that. And this was regarding Code Veronica? Yeah, because there are... Uh, there's another, like, Code Veronica... X, right? Yeah, where look that up. like a re-release. On you, they'll take over to come here for a second. I've, I've been trying to hold it and I okay. absolutely cannot. Ooh, sorry. So, yeah, right, your butt. Um. <laughs> so I've got to talk to myself now. <laughs> and normally when I talk to myself, it's not about things that are appropriate <laughs> for commentary. Just uh, running up the stairs. One thing I did definitely um, always think about whenever playing the difference between four and five is that uh, when when Chris and Shava defeat El Giante and and the only appearance of one in number five they need in Resident Evil Five they need two huge machine guns attached to. To a truck in order to defeat him, but Leon is able to just fucking climb up his back, and stab him with a knife, and defeat him if you want. This was, in my mind, my mind makes Leon a, a greater badass by by any means, even though he's like far less bulky. He's just more of a. She's just more of an action hero, like with, with style. All right, I'm back. Cool, I was running out of things to say. <laughs> or all, all I said was that uh, I love the fact that when you're in five, as Chris and Chevy, you have to take on El Giante with two fucking huge machine guns. Yeah. And, he on his, like, and he's able just to fucking yeah. climb up his back with a knife. Yeah. That's why Leon's better. 
Yeah, he's got style and class more than Chris. He's just brute <laughs> fucking strength. <laughs> Did you get your gun upgraded? Yeah, yeah. Code Veronica. Let's see. I'm trying to think of why. Is it resident? Evil code. Uh, on the way uh, up here, I was listening to uh, a song from on the radio by, uh, I think his name is Everlast. I don't remember what what group he was with in the 90s, but it's that song, uh, then you might really know what it's like to have the blues. Have you ever heard oh, that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love that song, actually. And uh, I, was, I was telling one of my friends that I uh, worked with the Moe's, was like, uh, actually, I actually really like that song. I, I kind of dig it. And she was telling me what it was actually about. I had never actually heard this story, which is kind of rare. Usually I know the, the story behind a song that makes it interesting. I tell other people, but apparently Everlast wrote, like, I don't... What, do you know what band you was with before that? I don't. It was something, she was telling me it was something kind of like Cypress Hill, just some goofy, just rapping about stupid shit band. And uh, he had a heart attack that almost fucking killed him. And so that's why he started writing like, well, he shit. He had like a, wow, maybe I need to make something meaningful kind of thing happen. So that's why he made that album that that's from. That's crazy. No, I did not know that. Yeah, that makes that song a lot better. Yeah, dude. Because it's just, I don't know, it's got a really nice soulful... I didn't know he was a white guy either. I thought he was fucking yeah. black. I thought he was fucking black. He really? sounds like a... Especially with that song, he sounds so soulful, I thought he was a black guy. Which, I, when I heard, uh, I didn't know for years that um, Waiting for the World to Change was John Mayer and not a black guy. <laughs> really? Yeah, because I, I did not know that was John Mayer. So every time I heard that, I was like, who is this Who is this black musician? I like, I like this kind of rhythm and blues style thing he's got going on. That Ritual is preparation. That's funny you didn't know it's John Mayer. Oh, here we go. Thanks to the efforts of the Novistadors, we have been able to recapture Ashley. We shall prepare for the sacred ritual as quickly as possible and make Ashley an official member of the Los Illuminados. While we prepare for the ritual, those of you who feel inclined can attend to our American friend. We should be able to hold off our friend for at least a little while by jamming the gears in the clock tower with something. I think if we can jam the gears in three places, it should give us enough time to prepare everything for the ritual. Let's spell this out for you in case yeah. you're a fucking retard. <laughs> now go and entertain our American tourist. Damn. Well, luckily I have already taken care of those three. This is some steampunk shit here. Yeah, absolutely. I do not remember that boss in Code Veronica. I've never played the game. I just remember you telling me there was supposed to be one sequence that is supposedly either impossible or almost impossible. I mean, here is another part of the game where saying fuck it and running past these assholes is invaluable. <laughs> fuck these guys. The old school strategy. Yeah, of... This is just stupid. Just run through the door, man. <laughs> Don't fuck with these guys. Let's see. Damn, Cut Runic is so old it came out on the Dreamcast. It came out on the Dreamcast? No, wonder no I mean, it was, it was. it came out on GameCube and all that as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Dreamcast, PlayStation 2, GameCube. Like, I didn't think there were any strictly Dreamcast games. No, uh, no just like that generation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think about what that was. And see, I never played Nemesis either. Yeah, neither did I. And that was like, I remember Philip saying like that was his favorite one. For some reason, I like the with Nemesis just hunting Jill down the entire time, and he kept like asking which game that was. I was like, I don't know if that's a Resident Evil game, dude. And then turns out that was the plot to three. Nice one, by the way. <laughs> that was kind of the trumpeter. I can do better. <laughs> <laughs> My ass turned into Louis Armstrong for a second. Oh, add dynamite to the mix. Here we go. And fucking run away. Oh. How did that happen? There's nobody even close to me. Oh, you better heal, bro. Yeah, no, this is fucked. God damn. Oh, he hit so much. Ooh, shit. Oh, off, assholes. You can just run and skip their asses? Yeah. Nice. Usually I do it without getting shot in the back from somebody two stories above me. At least they can't, uh, you know, open doors. Yeah. That would just suck complete total ass if they just just opened the door and just started pouring out. 
These bros in the castle right here are like the hard ass looking ones. No, I think I'm about to deal with the statue. The oh the statue that chases yeah, you? That's next. <laughs> I don't have any grenades, this is gonna suck. You got the rocket launcher. If this I'm is the Garada room. Oh! Very shot. Run away. Careful, careful, careful. There you go. Yeah, shot yeah. Fucking gun. Stay away. Don't get me. Yes. Ooh, yes, that helped. Yeah, I knew as long as I was oh my God. to the side, I might be alright. That one with the animal head back there, he's just standing there like a... Yeah, it's because he had the rocket launcher and he wasted it. Now he's like, hmm. <laughs> now, now I'm bored. <laughs> I don't have any more ammunition. I don't want to go over there. Plus his head. Just his headgear is really fucking I'm going to stand heavy. here and just try and look intimidating. Yes, it will simultaneous death. Damn. Oh. Oh, it's the creepy ones that can leave the bodies. Hey, babe. Yes, we're still doing the exact same thing. <laughs> the exact did. same thing when you last when saw I us. <laughs> so much has changed. Absolutely. How was your day? Oh, I'm sorry. I had a flat tire today. That's pretty shitty. I'm gonna spend a lot of money getting it fixed. Oh, where were you guys going? No, we weren't going anywhere. He was going to his mom's. Yeah, I was on oh. I was on my own for a little while, and I actually stopped at a stoplight in this area where um, well, maybe they'll enjoy this too since I paused the game for just a second. <laughs> Sorry, I stopped at a stoplight uh, like in kind of a bad area off of where Scott turns into Maine, and I remember my dad used to tell me a story by Firewater. Used, yeah, yeah, he used to tell me never stop there if you have a flat tire, and I literally just thought that and. But it was broad daylight, and it was almost to little, North Little Rock High, so I was yeah. like, fuck it, got out and chased it as fast as I could. Yeah, uh, close to the high school there, I feel like. Yeah, you, yeah. There's a stretch there where you would not get out at night. You would just ride. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Rim, screw it. Look at this boy. Look what he did, baby. Yeah, yeah. Have him be careful back there. Zuzu's like, doing something. It's Baloo's. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I see that you missed me, Baloo. Can you get down now? Get down. <laughs> It's been weird. I think he's in baby mode. Oh, you're is this right. two garroters? Yes, you're it right. is. It is two garroters. Baby. Yeah. I bought like a million dresses today. You're gonna be pumped. Cool. I'm gonna be wearing dresses all the time. Oh, you're leaving me hanging. What? Oh. <laughs> I think I'm gonna return one of them. Okay. I just got. What do you think? Rocket launcher? Do they not even know you're in there? They don't. Oh. Yeah, we have paper towels. He's not coming over for a while now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. Mwah. Love you. Yeah, this part, this section's almost done. Then we can plant some mountains. That's not good. All right. Love you, baby. Two garroters. I'm gonna fucking die. <laughs> no, you got this. This is fucking hard. I usually, I usually have to play this at least once or twice. It's rare that I don't have to be like, fuck, I'm gonna have to try. Yeah, the, I mean, there are bells up there. Should you need them? Look at that one too. He's like, the only reason armored you up. like that is so that you know the difference between the two. Oh god. So it's semi comedic when they're both making the same noise like that, though. Oh, careful. You do if only they the could kill each other. You want to go all the way back, though, because then you'll ignite the other people and you'll be fucked. Turn around, asshole, you'll die. Turn around, asshole. Oh, I missed! Right. But I stumbled him. Oh, God. Yes. There you go, there you go. Use you might want to. You might want to keep moving a little bit. Yeah, I know. Fuck that. Where is he? I don't know. Oh, Ooh, shit. shit! He got me. It's okay. I it's healed. okay. I healed. Otherwise, he would cut my head off. Damn. Damn. Oh, that was it's still going really scary. Well. Yeah, going absolutely. Really well. Turn the fuck around, asshole. No, they're coming out. No. I gotta think. Yeah. 
gonna turn around and stumble him and fucking run. Okay. Here we go. Shotgun his ass back. Get the fuck away from me. Maybe All I right. can get him with a... No, I'm gonna take care of these guys. Just use my ammo later. Fuck, you die! There you go. Careful. No one else came out. Okay. Oh, there they are. Go for it. Fuck off! Die, 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 die. Yes. All right. Run. Is that okay? Is that all that's gonna spawn? I think so. There's maybe one more. Okay. Not with a knife. Shoot the bell. Come on up. I don't know which direction he's coming from. There he is. That would suck if he came up there. Oh the my way. god. <laughs> You're telling me. That's exactly what I was thinking. Damn, he just decided to destroy it and then get stuck. There we go. I just stumbled him. It didn't hit him. There we go. It's okay. I got enough ammo for this shit. Yeah. In fact, I'm just gonna Two on him? Rifle. I got one. Okay. Because so, I stumbled him once instead of hitting him. He's confused. That's good. Yes, he's confused. <laughs> Oh yes. I only got hit once. That was not a bad. Not, not a bad, bad at all, dude. Cause screw that room. Come on. Delicious. That is the most fucked you get in this game. Yeah. That like, is. Really? They did this. The first time you play that, you have to try it over and over. <laughs> yeah, that over. is a. It, it's one of those ones where you're just like, fuck. How do you even do this kind of thing? It, it would not be so ridiculous if they didn't spawn when you try to come in here. That second spawning of it. Yeah, that's like overkill. Makes you, <laughs> makes you make noise. It's like, ugh. It's one thing to put two, you know, two together. But put two together in a room where you have to make a shitload of noise. Some treasures. Julius Caesar. Yes. Da -da -da -da. Staring at himself. Maybe it's, uh... Narcissist. Thing. <laughs> We're getting some pretty educated jokes in here. There you go. <laughs> We're trying to keep it highbrow. <laughs> After the stillborn. <laughs> Ashley. Leon. <laughs> Mr. Kennedy. Don't you know when it's time to throw in the towel? <laughs> Satisfying sound of one's impalement. Don't fall for this old trick. How dare you! No more games! Kill him! Kill! Quickly! We shall prepare for the ritual! Leon, you're alive. Maybe you have nine lives, but it doesn't matter now, Mr. Kennedy. I'm gonna I've sent him. my right hand to dispose of you. Your right hand comes off? <laughs> Say whatever you please. Die, you worm! You're gonna kill him? We we have to. For the, the break. Well, I can, I can save it a typewriter if you prefer to do that. No, yeah. it's fine. You wanna, you wanna go ahead and kill yeah, him? Yeah, I mean, only we... take a second, because I'm gonna yeah. rocket launch his ass. Yeah, we have all the time. That's fine. Ooh, Magnum ammo. After this, I'll the car. Yeah, that sounds good. That way we don't have to worry about it, you know? See, what you do in this situation, you use the rest of the Magnum ammo, upgrade your capacity, have some more Magnum ammo. So I have a question for anybody who actually listens to this. Um, and it's a question that's bothering me. I always kill Vertigo. I've uh -huh. never just left him alive like Phil, do Phil does. Mm -hmm. If anybody else has ever left Vertigo alive. Uh, when you face Salazar, does he take in both the Vertigos instead of just one and thereby become more difficult to defeat? I don't know. Because I've only ever seen him take one in. Yeah. So if anybody out there can answer that for me, uh, I would be interested to know because I'm never going to just not kill him because he gives you the crown jewel. I just love using the rocket launcher on him because you can freeze him. The second one will always be taken in by him, right? Yes, because okay. you never face him. That's right. So I'm wondering if you 
if you it, it probably just takes him in too and it doesn't really change the boss battle but I'm wondering if maybe if he takes both of them in he's more powerful or something I don't imagine they would put that in the game yeah I don't know Welcome. good got some rare things on what are you buying The old mine thrower. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. What I've you never bought that gun. It could be amazing. <laughs> I've never tried it. I've never tried it. Because you can only upgrade it two times. What fun is that? Is that all? <laughs> Did you upgrade you. the Magnum yet? Uh, I got the capacity yet, so oh. I could deal with those two. If you hadn't told me, I wouldn't have done it. Then I'd have been dead right now. Is I'm that all? Traveling back to yes. upgrade the Is that all? <laughs> is that all? <laughs> Thank you. I, I Glad I memorized that part because it, <laughs> it would have been a pain in the ass. No, I would die. Without the broken butterfly ammunition, I would fucking die. Because that's the only weapon that would stumble in. Um, besides, of course, rocket launcher. Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, that's what, what to use the Magnum for, you know what I mean? Or enemies like that. And even then, that's not a surefire thing in that room because when you fire it so fucking loud, the other one's coming at you. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna fuck with you in the town in the in the tunnels here. I wanna run with this on my back. <laughs> yes. Another good way here of building the tension. Cause you know he's coming for you, you know. Oh excellent. Yes, predator vision. <laughs> I love the way the rocket launcher looks in the bottom right hand inventory. Yeah. You're just seeing that, the grenade part? Yeah. yeah. It looks so windy, comparatively. I love after you use it too, he's just like, douche, throws it Yes, yeah, throws it down. Well, that was that. Reaction time important here. Yeah. That part always freaked me out because you've just come in the door, so it's like, fuck, he's right behind you, you know? Yeah, I found this part very freaky the first couple times I played it. Now I'm not scared just because I've played it so many times. Like, the generator is one of the only things that, like, still scares me. Like, like that. your head cut off. Yeah. But that, yeah, that was scary the first time I played this year. Absolutely. And it's just showing off just, like, how big and deadly he is, you know? So you're like, you know this boss fight's coming. Yeah. And the direction is really great action direction here. I get a really good direction. All right. The greatest risky run when using <laughs> Pre the rocket launcher. Please wait approximately four minutes. So Phil, Just how did Phil survive for four minutes in a tight little room with this asshole? <laughs> is the question. Yes. Okay. The biggest risky run is shooting the rocket launcher too close. You gotta run past him. Get just enough room and then shoot. Of course you gotta freeze him. Otherwise it does jack shit. That's there he is. the hard way. What a mean motherfucker. Run! Woo, shit. Fuck crouching. Get the fuck away from me. Use that animation there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I don't care Perfect. If he gets too close. I don't yeah, care. fuck it. There it is. Terrifying assassin. <laughs> that was the sound of a high five. He just shattered his ass. Hey, what do you know? It didn't take four yeah. minutes at all. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to wait here, twiddle my thumbs for a while. Since I used a rocket launcher on him, I'll try to show you what to do with thing without a rocket launcher. It ain't an easy battle. No, dude, I don't mind you using rocket launchers. No, no, I, I just mean for viewing purposes. Oh. It's, it's more fun and more entertaining, but if, yeah. I, if I choke, then I'll just buy a rocket yeah. launcher the next time and take care of his rocket ass. Rocket launchers are so Fuck fucking you, funny to me. And I think for so many of the bosses, it's uh, just, I mean, for Vertigo, absolutely. Yeah, like it especially gives, since you get one free one. It gives one. it to you, yeah. If you're going to use one free one, use it on his ass. Even it is not easy. I can handle him, but Vertigo is just too fucking fast. He 
cut you up. The he just cut you up, man. Yeah, absolutely. Cut I mean, you, you saw like him. a Christmas turkey. It's funny that he's like, "Fuck my robe." <laughs> it's ass kicking time. I mean, look at all the different areas with the like, like the nitrogen tanks where you can like, you'll have to run from him. You know what I mean? He's a long boss. Yeah. Now I have a lot more room. Organize. Oh yeah. Now with the extra large case, you should never run out of room. Yeah, I was just thinking how ridiculously big the extra yeah. large case is. We'll never run out of room. <laughs> Fuck yes. Never think it's smart to hold off on buying a case size. It's always the first thing that I feel like. Yeah, you, you just get. buy it. Because yeah. I thought at one point in time it'd be smart, and then I just realized, like, they give it to you when you need it. It's time to upgrade. Yeah. Just because, you know, this game's still, like, if you screw up, you can not have resources that you need. You know, it's just, I don't know. Always, not having room should never be the reason you're not taking a resource, you know? Yeah. Unless you're pack is so fucking yeah, full, like, like earlier in the yeah, game when like I was you're, ass. Unless you're obviously it kicking seems ass. that Salazar is yeah. having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance. Krauser, go get a girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of this swine while you're at it. Consider it done. 